Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a really short video on our newest extensions uh, CSS3 HTML5 feedback form. Uh, you can see it already on our uh, professional extensions uh, category page. Um, it's a very simple extension. I'll show you how to install it and how to use it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into the admin panel. Uh, once you purchased it, you'll receive an email with a downloadable link and you'll be able to, to install it directly from the Magenta Connect Manager. So once you go in here, you'll be able to log, just use your same username and password for the admin panel. And our extension, you'll need to use this guy here, choose file. Uh, this is the package you're going to be receiving from us. Um, it should have usually all our extensions are going to be packaged by the name of the uh, provider and then underscore the name of the uh, extension itself. So when I do that and I do an upload, it installs all the files in the right folder for you. Uh, from here, you actually you don't need to refresh or anything. You can just go to the admin panel. Now, just because of security reasons in Magento, it's recommended that after you install an extension, you probably want to log out and log back into the admin because it refreshes the uh, security settings. Now, once you installed it, you'll notice that you have a new Activo Extensions tab, and underneath you'll have a feedback form. Uh, here, you'll be able to set the to email address where the feedback form submissions are going to be sent to. So I'm going to use uh, yeah, I'm going to use just this temporary email that I have. And once you um, install it, you set up the right email and I, be I believe you don't even have to clear the cache. Let's try it. Okay, so I just refreshed the home page and we have this feedback uh, CSS area right here. Uh, that's interesting how, uh, I don't know if it's the recording or if that's a uh, Chrome issue, but anyway, this is like a, this is a uh, CSS thing. It's, it doesn't require any, f any background images or anything. And it will follow out through all the front end. You'll have it anywhere in the front end. So once you click on it, you're going to get a, a simple hover feedback form. And here you'll be able to put, you know, that's where your users basically are going to put uh, online user, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to, I just practice. So I'm going to give it another uh, number. So it's going to show up separate in the Gmail account. Just gonna type this thing. Uh, your category page is looking great. Testing, and then they're gonna be able to reset the form, of course, cancel, or submit. Now, notice that the entire form here is has absolutely no images, no special JavaScript, no nothing. So it's uh. That's that's why we're we're building it in a way where it's a separate template, separate CSS. Uh, your designer may be able to go in there and tweak it if you need to, and so on. So once you submit, gives you we appreciate your feedback. It will give you an error message, or it will give your your users an error message if something something happened and the email was not able to go through. Uh, usually, if your email system is set up properly, then it's it's gonna go through. So then here I got a online user 45. That's just what I typed in there, and then this is the email that it came from. And then category paging page is looking great. Testing. Now the great thing is we did it, so it comes from the user. So if you want to reply to the user, just go ahead, and it goes back to the user, not to your feedback form. Uh, another thing you want to note is that the extension comes with its own template, so you're going to be able to edit the template itself. Uh, let's see, transactional emails. 
So this is, I already did it, but uh, basically, originally you're gonna see it like this, or you have your own templates, and then what you can do is you can tap into the template file, load template, and then put, you know, feedback form, email template, and then you can make any sort of uh, modifications here. And there you go. Save template. And you're good to go. So again, that's it. That's all you got. Um, all Everything is simple files that can be edited at any time. Sends an email back to uh, whoever you set up. And that's it. Thank you.